Hi, I'm Joseph. Today we're going to go over how to dismiss the keyboard when you want to unfocus an input. So Flutter's default experience is when you get into an input field or text field, you tap outside of it, nothing happens. Unless you click done or the back button on Android, it kind of just doesn't do it. So what we want is when we click anywhere outside uh, to go ahead and dismiss the keyboard. To do this, we're going to want to take the container and replace or wrap that around a gesture detector. So gesture. Why is it not? Okay, it's just being a little slow right now. And then the child will be what we just put, what we had there, the container. Then what we want is on tap. So when you tap anywhere in the uh, container, we want to call focus scope dot chat of and then context dot uh, request focus, and then we're going to say new focus node. But we don't really want to call focus node, or a new focus node every single time we tap out. So we actually just want to call like a variable that already has the focus node that we're going to put. So let's just go ahead and put this in here, var blank focus node. All right, so now if we go ahead and tap on the outside, it'll dismiss the keyboard. Now there's a little caveat in that uh, if you tap into an area that's uh, not expanded to, then it doesn't work. So uh, one thing that you can do is adjust the behavior of the adjusted detector to work with the hit test uh, and then uh, put it like this. And basically then when you do click or tap outside into a white spot, it's fine. This is usually fine, but there is um, a little bit of a problem here in that there's also the issue of scrolling. So if I go ahead and add a, uh, a container, with a padding of const edge insets dot only, let me say top and add 300. And then we put like a text box down below. We'll say hello with the style of, uh, let's say that the display one, so it's really big. So we, we get this text down here below. When you have the input up, can't scroll to it. And it obviously tells you like there's a problem with the overflow. Um, so a simple way to kind of get around this so that you can still dismiss and scroll is to go ahead and take the container once more. So let's go to the container. And we're gonna put in a single child scroll view. And then this will have the child of that. So now, when we do focus, we can scroll and we can still dismiss. Now, there, this does create a problem though. So let's say you, you get in the habit of putting the, the scroll view there because you don't ever know when you're gonna need it or not. Uh, and if we comment this out, what happens is our original behavior of when you like tapped outside of it, um, it no longer works. So now when we tap here, it's broken. Uh, this is a relatively simple fix as well. So what we can do is take the uh, single child scroll view and then wrap this inside of a column and put this children, children. Come on, there we go. And then put this back into that. Um, but that's not the only thing because we also need a stretch. Let me just format this real quick. Okay. 
um, we also need to stretch the, the, ch the children. So if we do um, cross axis alignment, which means like vertical, I would say cross axis alignment is stretch. So now our original behavior that we had um, will go away when we tap into the white spot. So just to review, um, we, we need our adjusted detector and then add in the behavior with the focus scope of on tap. Um, and then we want to add a scroll view if there's scrolling, if there's content you want to scroll when the keyboard's up, but also add in the, the column with the, the stretch attributes in there. Um, one other thing is if you don't want to get rid of the focus on the input, but you want to get rid of the keyboard only, instead of doing focus scope, you can also call system channels. And then this needs a quick fix to import. This is not system channels. Oh, let's try one time text input. Uh, I may actually already have it. Uh, let me get rid of this real quick. So what we'll need to do is import the the package, which is packages flutters, uh, flutter services dot dart. And then we'd call invoke method, and then this will be a string called text uh, text input dot hide. So as soon as that reloads, now when we have the uh, the input focus and we tap out of it, the keyboard goes away, but we keep the focus. I know like this is not ideal for everyone, but just in case you have that edge case where you still want the input to be focused, um, you can have that there. But yeah, that's it. Uh, pretty simple, it's pretty straightforward. There's a lot of little things you gotta kind of introduce. I know it's kind of a pain in the butt, but it's nice to know that there is a solution for that that does fix this kind of problem.